Hey, so what's going on guys and girls, James back here, we're back for more FDB Infinity Evolved Skyblock. I nearly completely messed that up again. Uh, currently cooking down some molten invo, I've got 44 ingots of it because we're making some gears. No, 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 not nickel gears. Uh, I forgot to change that over, shoot. Huh, apparently you can make nickel, oh, it's a ferrous gear. Huh. I'll hang on to that in case I need it. I get the feeling they've got use anyway. Uh, oh yeah, to make the metal mold and combustion engines. Oh, okay. we got some use, so I might as well hang on to that one anyway. Today we're making the induction smeltery. I've got enough to make all of this. Uh, come on, roll around to the basic one. Yeah. I've got enough of all this. I'm just making a dense iron plate at the minute. I've got all the gears and things. I need the invite gears because we need them for this. I've got the ingots and everything else. Redstone reception coil, I can do that in two seconds, easy. No known materials. One more, and that should be enough because I might need that for other things. That is not the only thing I've been working on, actually. I mean, you guys saw me um, build this, I think. I can't remember if since I moved it. This is what I nicknamed my obsidian generator. I just manually have to put... I'll show you. Where's the lava thing here? You just shush lava in like that, and there you go. I'm not going to bother mining that right now, because I'm in the middle of something. Cobble gen, which then goes into this to make lava, but also gives me loads of this. Because all this goes in there. There's stairs here now instead. Yeah, completely different. Rock crusher, that's still there. But you're probably like, hey, what's this giant building? Wasn't there nothing there before? Yeah, that section you're looking at now is where the tree farm and things were just these four squares where the trees are this big building still here I took down most of the machines and I built automatic sieves that's meant for dust but I haven't got any more that's currently sieving out gravel and sand which can actually be made in this uh, was it I think it's cobble you have to grind down it which then makes it into gravel there we go that's one way to do it, or pull fries and things. Well, look, got one um, refi refined iron plate at the minute. Bunch of all this stuff. There's the rest of the tin gears. Uh, right. Nine refined iron plates. Uh, did I pack the compressor away? Because I'm going to need that right now. Compressor, there you are. Yeah, a lot of stuff has been packed away because I have moved a lot of things MV wire you can go there actually I'll put you on the back like I've put your friend As in that's that. I have no idea where it cr why it creates that weird shadow come on can shove power from this into this right now you need nine to refine it into a dense one but you know we need a dense that that it's one of them and one of them and I'll show you where the lasers have now been moved to this is stone stone road from Tinker's construct there's a I've started naming places there's the machine area where all that lot's gonna go this is going to be the storage drawers where all the output from the machines goes so far more storage drawers this is the lasers plus something else I don't know what that's going to be filled but here's the laser section anyway uh, to call them yeah I made leadstone flux ducts and there's a leadstone energy cell here but there's also leadstone solar panels I'll just show you them quickly leadstone that's fairly easy because I had a bunch of electro tea and I've got some iron nuggets and just you just need plain um, glass and that is just lead nuggets around iron 
steel nuggets and redstone that was easy enough to make the conduits were easy enough it's just lead plates redstone and redstone chips that's glass the energy cell was a bit more um, to do because you need four lead ingots four glass one block of redstone to make the frame which then becomes the energy cell which you need an electronic circuit to make which is just rubber uh, iron plate and that and tin which is what the fermionic fabricator was built for so I finished all that and now I've started making these um, let's put them on uh, it's because it's night there's not much power here now I am gonna work on better power better power production that's why I need the induction smelter because that is what's going to make the refined iron which is then made for the, the dense plates to make the machine casings which is then can be used for the machines and things I was losing my trailer for for a minute right, there's the dense plate I only need one of them now hopefully we should have enough energy this may take a few minutes to do though probably should cancel it doing that now let's do that 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 is that everything tin gear that 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 and that to be the basic machine casing Oh, I need one more crushed. That's it. It's two crushed per time. I accidentally just brought one. <laughs> but yeah. So that's basically it's just chis basically chisel products and things. All this, including those stone floors and everything. There we go, basic item casing. Uh, hang on. Okay, why are you peaceful? Let's put you on normal. That's weird. I wonder why my hunger suddenly wasn't going down. Alright, so I've got that cooking up, and then I'm going to use that for. Hmm. Induction smelter, which is invar. Ah, that was it. I needed that piece of gold. There's gold over here. bucket and two bits of invar now food where's all the food guys started there's a watermelon but that's not going to keep me full for long all right redstone reception coil to invar over there and I think we need the bucket which can easily be remade now for the metal former that was what was tripping me up the most when I first started this is having to use two iron ingots to make one plate every single time I was at a net loss how are we doing with this We're only so far along it Let's see if we can boost this somehow not sure specifically how How many more of those generators have I got? Probably not many more. Can probably take them off. They retain their charge anyway the last time I checked. Unless they're completely out of power then obviously they're not going to retain the charge. 
Probably shouldn't be running and jumping like that. Need one more of them connectors. And then I can power that a bit better. That's the only thing with that is I need to make the hardened version, but it means making a whole lot more of those leadstone ones. Because it's like eight leadstone to one hardened. Unless I'm blind, I swear there was more. Unless they're in here, perhaps. There's two more. But that's not what I was looking for. I was looking for the MV things. Well, they all been used up by various bits and pieces. I have a couple of LV ones, but I don't have the LV cables. Hmm. Interesting. Could borrow you, I guess. Because I ain't going to be using the crusher for a while. This is taking a lot longer than I was hoping. Right. So that should be that, 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 that. Uh, coal. That's what I mean. Eventually I'm going to migrate everything over into this nice new building. I'll show you what's through in that big tower in a minute once I've loaded this up with some of that coal coke that I've got stored over here. Oh, and I also moved the, some of these into here, into compacting drawers, because it takes the dust and all that type of stuff and makes them into blocks. Compacting drawers were easy to make. That was linked to the smeltery downstairs where I dumped some of the, once we get so, stack, so many stacks of them, into the smeltery down here. But I've started to pull that system to pieces because everything's going to be relocated. Alright, let's go and sort the power thing out. Once I've got that sorted, we should be okay. All right. There we go, it's a bit more quicker. All right, now in here is going to be the blood magic room. That's why I've made this so big. Now, I didn't build this physically by hand and try and scale it out. No, I'll show you how I built it in a minute. But all these bits of glass are where items were. The, the blood, altar goes here, the glowstone here, the uh, the large red bricks go there, and then the cu the clusters of whatever for tier 6 go there. This is where the ritual will be, because that's what those blocks represent. But I'll show you the device I used to actually build this, because it's still under here. I haven't took it out yet. Um, actually, let's do it here. It's here. It's called a building guide. There's two, the building and the enhanced by just built the building guide, which is basically glass, torch, and two bits of redstone. The enhanced one has four bits of glass, torch, redstone, but it has two ender pearls. I don't currently own ender pearls, so I didn't bother. But when you flick the lever, you should see it. There's the box. And it goes a lot, lot higher. <sighs> to get the exact scale and dimensions of this for the... For it to be able to house all six tiers and leaf space was not easy. And then to centre it in the middle of the room as well. I mean, it's as centred as it's going to be. I've started building this walkway out here. I'm not sure whether I'm going to mirror the design of the how things were built on that side and then build it another one of these. Because when you break this building guide, it retains what you set it to. 
Now, I think I personally prefer the old building code book, because look at all that. It's plus minus all across it for all different dimensions and things, but anyway, let's flick that off. I've kept it there instead of bothering to take it to pieces, because it's just safer that way. And the cobblestone is just to represent where the blood runes will go, when I finally build the blood altar. But to do that, to make the blood altar, You need certain items. You need altars from witchery. Living rock I've got. Man is still working on our chemical furnace. So I need to get into formcraft properly. Which I'm probably going to build a room for that as well as. Um, to make altars you need exhale of the horned one. Which is made by birch saplings in a witch's oven. While we're waiting for the machine frame to do I can make a witch's oven I think. Two mana steel, four arcane stone, iron bars, an alchemical furnace and a fire crystal cluster which is fire crystals. Alchemical furnace you need the phenomenon, phenomenomicon for that. Arcane stone is just four living rock, one of the shards and stone in an arcane work table. How do you get the shards? Um, never brick. We'll get that one. Okay. So how do you get the shards then? How do we get the air shard? Sand slab. Never. Ice, grass, stone slab, TNT, balance shard, never shard, ender shard, ice shard. Ice is made in a compressor from snow, snowballs, which is made in a compressor with water bucket. Okay. So I know roughly how I can make this. Probably going to need to sleep right now to stop this from failing. It's about three thirds of the way done. I'm going to sleep and then I think I will make some snow and some shards and things. Tell you what, I'll be back in a minute once this is all finished doing. Right, well that's nearly done anyway. I made another one of these leadstone solar panels just so why not? And I found the other two I was missing, so I've got all this hooked up currently. So that makes four solar panels I've made so far, just four more and I can get a hardened one. Nearly got the machine frame required. Um, now did I start Farmcraft? I'm trying to think, because I've got a lot of stuff for this base all in different places this is just um, a clay making thing is there phenomenomicon around somewhere yes how far did I get research wise didn't go very far uh. ok so how do I make a crew Where's a crucible? Well, you need to make a cauldron first. Which is just iron plates, that's three, six, seven. Da -da. So I need seven bits of iron to make one of them. A bit more than I need, but hey. Okay. See if that machine thing's done. Might actually take this leadstone from down here in a minute anyway and power those machines. Should be about nearly done. Oh it's done. Okay. 
Okay. I don't know if that stood mid animation or what. Stuck mid animation, should I say? Hmm. Let's go this way, and I'll go to sleep in a minute. So let me stuff recharge. All right, sleep time. So we've got five so far. Can put a couple of bits of redstone in here. Doesn't seem to be making much difference. Okie dokie. Okay, that's not gonna work, but that works. Six. Transfer them back out. So that's seven. Alright, we needed to make a collar little older. Which I can then shove there. Now there's a wand somewhere. Is it in here? There it is. Go. We now have a crucible. To make night or um, any paper and things like that. I also need to make a couple of tables. It's just oak, oak and oak slabs. Okay. I can do this. I've got loads of oak. Dump that all in. That's that. Now, I think if I do that and that, is it? That and that. Is that the right table? Pretty sure that's the right table. No. It's living wood. Shoot. Oh, my bad. Oh, well, you learn. Where's the living wood gone? Is it in here? Only got four. Should have made far more. Slabs. Come on, turn. Hmm, it's not like there's an indicator to tell you when they're going to turn, is it, really? together. Induction smarter, there we go. Haha, -ha, I have a hammer trophy. Ha. Huh. So that happy mistake with the tables was kind of good. Because I can get another table for this. Come on, don't go falling over now. There we 
There we go. That's two now. Living rock, here we go. Wood. I will eventually find a way to mass produce that. Living wood slabs with living wood. this one so now I need to make an scribing tools where's the just standard ones there it is it's a feather glass file and ink or black dye of some description so ink sack Shadow ink, black, black. Shadow ink. Uh, crusher, crushing black wool. Stained. Gender stray. Black dye, extra bees. Hmm. Umbra Rose. Uh, black dye. Hmm. Curious. Make a normal scrubbing tool. Black dye, black deer and ink sack, shadow ink. Hmm. From an umbral rose. That's from a black colour comb from black. That's weird. Where's ink sacks come? Watery combs, there's a 60% chance of getting them. Crush it with black wool. Is that it? Watery combs, to get watery you need. Really? Okay, I think that's going to have to hang on for now, I think. What did it say about making it in here? Yeah, inside shadow, ink, black dye, black. Hmm. I have no idea where you would get them from. I'll have to look into forbidden magic. Is there a book for forbidden magic? Doesn't look like it. Well, I'm probably going to play around with this a bit more, see what I can do, see if I can get some scrubbing tools and get some research done. And maybe next time we can start on actually building the blood altar and getting started with it. Well, anyway, if you guys enjoyed, as always, give it a like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.